What is magnetic coupling? Magnetic coupling is a phenomena by which one inductor couples its plugs to the another inductor and hence announces voltage into that particular inductor. So basically you can see into the diagram there are two coils through one of which a current is passing and because of this current there is the development of flux. This flux also links with the external coil placed nearby to it. When this flux passes through the another coil, let us say this is coil 2, this is coil 1. When coil 1 produces its flux and it passes through coil 2, there is the announcement of voltage in coil 2 as well. Because this flux is changing, the d phi by dt equation produces voltage. Now this particular voltage is irrespective of the current flowing through the coil 2. It solely depends upon the current passing through coil 1. Now this phenomena is developed when coil 1 and coil 2 are nearby each other or in the same circuit. So there are many inductors in one circuit then you will find different couplings and this coupling is known as mutual inductor. Now depending upon the direction of current that passes through this coil, the flux linkages can be different. Let us see the anti-clockwise and clockwise direction of current when it passes through a coil. You can have a coil and if you decide to see this through this direction, that is the side view, you will see only a circle. And if current is passing through this coil, two directions can be there. One is anticlockwise and another is clockwise. You have right hand thumb rule to decide the direction of flux when you have current passing through the coil. So, if the current is passing through curl pointing fingers, the direction of flux is into the direction of your thumb. Now, here, as current is passing anticlockwise, you can place your right hand thumb and right hand fingers in the direction of this anti-clockwise current in this direction you will find you are pointing your thumb towards you that means the magnetic flux is out of the page similarly if current is passing anti-clockwise to use the uh, right, right hand thumb rule you have to curl your fingers like these you will find out that the magnetic flux is going into the page. Now we have inductors in 2D shape when we show it on the page. When current passes through this, you cannot identify if current will move clockwise or anti clock. And we cannot show 3D diagrams or neither can we show such views every time we uh, pose a problem or ask a question. So the dot convention is used to identify the orientation of a coil. Now, when coil 1's flux helps coil 2's flux to increase, that means if current I1 is passing through coil 1, current I2 is passing through coil 2, and the flux that is generated by coil 1 passes through coil 2, it may oppose or add to the flux that is created by 2 in coil 2. So, if two fluxes help each other to increase, the mutual inductance coefficient m is positive. And if two flux oppose each other, then the mutual inductance coefficient is negative. Now, we will see dot convention and how using the dot convention we decide if the coefficient is positive or negative. Alright, let us go and see dot convention. So, simply you put a dot whenever you draw an inductor to develop the orientation. So this could be any orientation, maybe anticlockwise or clockwise orientation. If the current is entering the dot at the same time, we will take the coefficient as plus or positive. Then the current is entering into one of the dot and leaving another dot at the same time all right then the coefficient of mutual inductance 
will be negative. In this diagram again, you have current leaving the node at the same time, and hence the fluxes will help each other to increase. Now, if the inductors are connected uh, like like these nearby, then you have current I1 and current I2 here. Current I1 and I2 both are entering the dot at the same time. So the coefficient of coupling or say coefficient of mutual inductance is positive. Similarly, if current I1 and I2 are such that I1 is entering the node or I1 is entering the dot and I2 is leaving the dot at that same moment, alright? Because current is developed in the circuit, I2 is leaving the dot. At the same time, I1 is entering the dot. That means minus n is the coefficient of coupling, which is negative. Alright. Now, this phenomena or such convention is mostly important while we develop Kirchhoff's voltage law or while we develop the mesh analysis. We want to write the uh, different voltage drops at each branch and at each component. Let us see an example wherein we are going to use this dot convention. Our objective here is to find out the different KV equations in all three loops. So as you can see there are three loops and we have already seen what is the KV. We will be using the current to develop voltage drops and adding them to zero. Now there are different inductors as you can see L1, L2 and L3 and we have specified their orientation using different shapes. The blue triangle, the green square, and the red dot. These signs just relate the orientation with respect to each other for all these inductors. Say uh, the circle, the red circle here, and the red circle here, that means I1 is entering in this direction and I2 is entering in this direction. So while we consider I1 and I2 for these inductors, the orientation is same. It will be clear while we solve the problem. Alright. So for the loop one or for this loop, the equation will be VK VK is equal to all these drops. So VK is equal to the current passing through this branch I1 minus I3. So I1 minus I3 into R1 plus L1, which is the self-inductance, L1 D I1 minus I2 DT. So this is nothing but self-inductive voltage drop and then you have again a register R2 into I1 minus I2. So this is what we would do normally. Now we will have to consider the mutual inductances that are developed on L1 by L3 and by L2. And we need to identify the sign of the mutual inductance. Let us say the mutual inductance on 1 by 3 is M13 and mutual inductance of 1 and 2, the effect of 2 on 1 is M12. Now we will have to find out the signs. So let us first consider the effect of 2 on 1. In 2, when L1 is driven by the current I1 minus I2, at the same time L2 is driven by current I2. Alright? So both the currents are entering the red dot at the same time. That means the coefficient will be positive. Then the coefficient is m12. Alright. And d i2 by dt. Because the effect is due to i2. Effect is effect is due to i2, and that is why this term is developed. Similarly, we will find out the effect of L3 on L1. So the mutual inductance. Coefficient's magnitude is nothing but M31, but we'll have to find out the sign. Now, the current is driven is I1 minus I2 passing through this, which is leaving the blue triangle, and at the same time, I3 is entering the blue triangle. That means the coefficient of mutual inductance is negative, and we'll write M13 and the I3 by dt because. This mutual inductance will depend upon current I2, which is given equal to VK. So this is how you develop the KVL equation for the loop. Similarly, if you see the loop equation for 2, you will find these equation and 
you will write all these factors using mutual inductances. There are inductors L2 and L1 in loop 2. So we will be using self inductances L1 and L2 in this KVL equation. Also, the effect of L3 and L1 on L2 and effect of L2 and L3 on L1 will be considered. That is why we have four mutual inductance terms and we have decided the signs as well. Applying the same relation, we have effect of 3 on 1 as the current in this L1 is now considered I2 minus I1 because we are considering this loop. So I2 minus I1 will be considered, which is entering the blue triangle and I3 is also entering the blue triangle. So effect of L3 on L1 will be positive. So we have taken M13 d I3 by dt because effect is due to current passing through L3. The effect of L3 on L2, let us see. The I3 is leaving the green square and at the same time I2 is entering the green square. So the coefficient will be negative and again d I3 by dt. Similarly, you can find out these two terms and you can write equation for the third box as well. I hope you have understood the magnetic coupling. We will meet again whenever you call me back. Thank you so much.